and gentle yet profound. Can you hear me? Soft and gentle yet profound. What's so profound? Let me tell you. You are generating two powerhouses, two turbines. This hand is rolling, rotating this way, while this hand rotates that way. So each hand generates its own turbine, its own whirlpool of wind. Empty your lungs. Empty your lungs. And stand with feet at shoulder width and let's just uh, loosen up. We started immediately with Tai Chi and Qigong movements, but uh, you know, the Winget Institute, where I uh, was amongst the founders of the first Tai Chi Gong instructor course, um, we do loosening up first. So loosening up comes from sports, any sports, it's good to loosen up. I'm loosening up, uh, loosening up the arms and I pet my shoulder and my kidney simultaneously to a point that it's one, one, one. Say hello shoulder, hello lung, the back of my lung, hello kidney. Cha, 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 cha. Hold the sword, the big sword, and chop the air. Chop the air, chop it down. Yeah. One, 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 one. And open the sensors. You have sensors in your skin, in your palm. Open the sensors in your skin and ask your sensors, what is the air quality around me? When you chop the air, you feel the air. You feel the air quality. So you wanna ask the sensors, what's the temperature? Is it humid or is it dry? Is it Tel Aviv or Jerusalem weather? Is it moving or is it standing still? Once you know all this information that your hand told you, you can embrace the sky and take all this air in. Breathe it in and let it out. Ah. Breathe it in, deep inhalation. Long, twice as long exhale. Sink the mud down, all the inner mud sinking down. Chi rising, chi sinking down. And as the saying goes, spirit rise, all the inner mud sink down. What's the inner mud? The inner mud could be one of three. We have three centers. Lower Dantian, Middle Dantian, Upper Dantian. All these uh, Dantian is like a center of energy. Center of energy. So Upper Dantian are intellectual properties. When we sink down, we want to lose all our worries, all our overthinking, all our intellectual baggage that sits on us. Letting go of that is quite a big thing nowadays with the unknown coronavirus, with the health concerns of ourselves, of our families. So let go of all this worry, emotional, um, well, first intellectual baggage. Then we move to the second one, which is the emotional center. And now we let go of the emotional baggage. The emotional baggage, any frustration from these days, concerns about your economic situation, again, thoughts and feelings, any anxiety if you manage to accumulate, any depression if uh, the situation got you into, that's the time to sink it down, flush it down the toilet. Cha, 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 cha. And then the physical center, physical center, our chi reservoir, the biggest chi reservoir. That's where the tiger gets out of the mountain, sorry, gets out of the cave, 
in up the mountain. Who's the tiger? Is your inner strength. It's a symbol of your inner strength rising. Yes. Important to rise out of the out of the ashes. Rise out of the the situation. Rise. When you're on the mountain, chi expands. You feel that you not you're big on the mountain, you're small, you see the view. Look up and see the vastness of the sky, see how small you are, yet stable. Your self-esteem in place, your self-confidence in place. You are fine, tell yourself, I am fine. I'm fine, I'm doing great. Yes, talk to yourself. Tell yourself, self-assurance. Sink down any physiological concerns. Chi sinking down. Chi sinking down. Now we are rooting. We are rooting into the ground. Okay, let's loosen up again. One. What? 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 See how, how much energy we accumulated at this uh, tiger to the mountain. But it has a second half. Let's do the second half of it. Gather chi and it lets go. Gathering chi and dispersing. Give from yourself. Give to all your loved ones your good energy, your open heart. So gathering chi, dispersing it, and gathering chi this time to release it and release. Gathering chi, disperse, gathering chi, push out and release. Expand your chi, gather, inhale, disperse, exhale, Gather, inhale, and push, exhale. Cha. Excellent. A few more times. The tiger comes out, rising. Chi, rise. Disperse. Rise again. And release. Expand your chi. Sink down. Disperse, gather chi, rise and push. Ooh, we have a nice group of people that joined us. Such a large, beautiful group. Well done, everyone. Well done. Here, let's accumulate chi from here. Ocean of chi, just grab as much as you can. Grab as much as you can with your heart and lungs and your beautiful arms they're like suction cups of energy look uh, not just at my arms look what my legs are doing i recommend that regarding every instructor every coach you are watching don't get too fascinated with the hands movement first look look at the lower body it's more important how is the coach instructor is connected to earth? Am I here pushing the earth this way? Am I here? Am I sitting balanced? Look at my lower body and now you realize that that's what's important. The hands has energy gates. Yes, they have energy gates here at the palms pushing the air out. But the power comes from back there, from your back leg. Let's practice this. Now, forget about the hands for a second, put them behind your back. I'd like you to compress your entire body weight into your front foot and take it back. Compress and take it back. That's where the work is, right? That's the workout. Cha! Cha! Now, with the arms, more gentle. 
push and come back push and come back push she is now flowing vertically vertically in a vertical pattern like a wheel like a ball rolling forward okay now it rolls back wow the roll back is more tranquil the roll back is more gentle lift the arms the arms has a body weight right much much heavier than this look at that gravity takes it down but the arms are not falling into our body in the same pace like uh, the toy it's tubal in Hebrew um, so the body of the hands is sinking into my body and opening the channels the meridians and flowing back into gravity through gravity into earth so there's give it time give the weight of your arms time to sink through your body see how you absorb this body weight and deliver it absorb with an inhale deliver exhale very pleasant very gentle let change legs back foot 45 degrees front foot inhale on the way up exhale on the way down ah. 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 wonderful Lion plays with a ball, carry a ball, north pole, south pole, and the north pole behind your ear. Yes, open your sternum and change hands. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Ooh, I wore black, maybe black is too dark, you can't see the movements. Chop, chop. Okay, second version is we freeze from a belly button down, freeze, and now the movement will go into our ribs, rib cage here and at the back. Okay, rib cage only. So don't move your hip joints. You aren't freeze, lower body is on freeze, and you're beautifully moving up, up up and watch your rising hand look at your rising hand why is that important listen to this for a second if you look at me at the screen your brain would be processing your visual energy and you won't be able to see your chi in your body you want if you want to see like a binoculars looking outside and seeing far away but see it inside turn your binoculars into chi into your body lock your eyes on the rising hand lock your eye until it flips now lock your eye on this hand flips then you start to realize wow my kidneys are getting a great massage oh yeah my liver too fantastic especially if i'm not moving my hips it's all happening oh yeah my digestive system is extremely contracting and expanding contract here and expand here versus this contract here expand there beautiful what about your heart and lungs give them a massage from within okay that's enough feet together long hand long hand lower hand like an oar cha cha Getting too hot, one second. Don't need jackets at all. A bit windy, but it's beautiful. Beautiful weather. Ah, look at the arch between the knees. Nice arch. That is our victory arch. We embrace the sky and we sink our body into that arch. 
Okay, carry a ball and step and deliver your energy forward. Go back. Go back to carry a ball and step and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. those feet from body weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So on one hand it's balance. Well on one leg, not on one hand. It's balance for this one and it's warm-up for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other direction. One, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sink and rise. Sink and rise. Sink. Remember, push the monkey's face. It's a twisting exercise for every vertebra in our spine. We make sure the spine can rotate 180 degrees. Let me show it to you from the back. You see how nice is the monkey sits there. Remember the monkey is actually, if you can see the monkey, let me do it this way first. Rotate the monkey, rotate. I'm rotating the monkey, but I'm rotating my spine simultaneously. And now look at it from the back. A very healthy exercise for our spine. Why? Because we come here. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Wonderful. You passed the test. Your spine is fine. More than fine. It can twist. It's not like a stick turning all one piece this way and that way. It's like a chain. One vertebra after the other. One vertebra go this way and one that way. Very healthy. Spinal health is paramount. Paramount. Carrying a ball this time, I'm coming to a more meditative cloud hands. Meditation in motion equals medication in motion. I carry a ball and the upper hand pushes the water. The lower hand is like the cloud floating. Meditation in motion means we're going to a state of alpha waves between asleep and awake. I want to find myself in a place so serene Serene, not serene. Serene, tranquility all over. Shh. 
Nice. Okay. Let's continue in that mode for quite some time. Remember white crane spread wings? It's an exercise that the absolute yin and yang is actually in our feet, not in the open and close of the arms, not the chest, it's down there. Because one leg is empty and one leg is full. Zero to 100% body weight. So it's yin and yang. Enjoy the yin and yang of empty and full and follow Follow the tap. How you tapping, how you are streaming your body weight into the empty foot, little by little. So the, the tap is not that you open the tap and it's flashing very quickly. It's very slowly, very slowly, this foot would fill up and this foot would empty. Like a dimmer. You control the pace, you control the flow. Not only you control the flow, you synchronize it with your breath. So inhale, exhale down. Inhale up, yeah, foot empty. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down. Ah. 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 Okay, and the body is inviting us now because we did we did the frontal circle. Oh, you want to see my hula hoop? Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I got that uh, message from you. So when we did the wave, we worked on that energy pattern, right? And when we did the vertical energy pattern, we worked on that pattern, forward and back, like a wheel forward and a wheel back. And now we're working on a spiral, on a spiral. But this spiral, it's not just on one level, like a lasso, when you do a lasso. It's going spiraling up and spiraling down. Spiraling up over the head, spiral down. This has an amazing effect on our immune system. And it's not just a, a promise, an empty promise. It's correct if you do it right. How do you do it right is you take this hand, which the fingers are close together. It's the head of a snake, head of a snake. And you put it in the cave. The cave is right under my armpit. It's not here. My Chinese Sifu used to say in Chinatown in New York, you're cheating your body if you go here. Why? Because if you didn't do that, you didn't squeeze your lymph node here. Means you didn't release the lymphatic fluid into your blood circulation. And if you didn't do that, it didn't help your body. Your blood circulation loves the lymphatic fluid as it protects it from bacteria. So into the cave. Into the cave means close as possible to your armpit without lifting your shoulder. Don't do this and then it's easy. Don't make it easy. Leave your shoulder where it belongs, inside the shoulder cap, and slide into the cave all the way back. Look at me here, all the way back. And now 180 degrees. Forward, over one ear, over the other, and step. Do the other hand from the back, just so you can see. One, two, Ooh, someone got a whistle. <laughs> someone got a whistle. Yay. Okay, one. Ah. Ah. One. Ah. One.
Let's leave only one foot forward and we just go backward and step forward. So the movement of this chop down here, chop, like a chop to the neck or chop the wheat, right? At the harvest. The chop is not just with your arm, chop. It's down there, that's where it's happening. It's you're throwing your body weight onto this foot. That's where your entire body weight would stand still and nice and very innocent, all of a sudden crushing down there. That crush brings a lot of energy down here. So one, and crush all your anger from all this corona. You must have had some angry moments, right? That's the moment to let them out. Kill them. <laughs> Kill your anger. It's called anger management. Ta! Ta! Yeah. Ta! When will it be over? Okay, the other side. We'll start gently. Slides. Don't express any anger yet. Now we're in, uh, just to get into the motion, remember to press all your body weight into the front foot. Inhale up, exhale down. Well, this is my other hand. It's my left hand tells me I don't like to express anger actually. I'm uh, more artsy, farty. <laughs> I'm more calm. I don't have any anger to release. I'm the happy hand. So, okay, if that's my happy hand, let it be happy. Feel your hand, feel this, uh, you know how in Sefirot, in the 10 Sefirot, in the Kabbalah, it's, I have a page about it, I'll just show you quickly the page, if I can find it that quick, because I like that image of the 10 Sefirot. The 10 Sefirot in the Kabbalah, you know him well, right? So, this arm, that's my book here, my, my arms are chesed and gvura, and the middle is considered tiferet. Tiferet is the balancing center of energy between left and right, between chesed and gvura. So, my left arm, which is closer to my heart, is telling me I would like to express chesed rather than, although right arm is chesed, I would like to express other things than the other hand, which expressed anger before. Now express whatever your heart tells you. Whatever your heart tells you, get rid of this. You don't need that. So this is your moment. Get rid of whatever resides inside you. Whatever got stuck inside you and you don't need. This extra baggage, emotional baggage, negative feelings negative thoughts, that's the time to Okay, we did that, that's fantastic. Okay, I'm bouncing my heels now. I'm bouncing my heels. Look, they're bouncing just so I can release my shoulders. And my shoulders going up and down and now release your heels on the ground and keep the vibration going. This vibration of your skeleton gets to every cell in your body. And the body loves it. Oh, it's so nice. You shed any blockages. Anything that needs to be fixed, that's the moment. The skeleton is saying, here is a vibe. Take it. It's a healing vibe. Take it as a healing vibe. She is a healing energy that we were granted in our body. So beautiful. All right. Now, lean forward. This circle of energy comes into your body. Roll back. It's the starter of energy. When we do the Tai Chi Yang style form, we started with this movement. Let's do it. Let's do the beginning, the first sentence. We start standing on one foot, on one, <laughs> one spot, one foot. It turns into one foot as I quietly empty one leg and now sink and balance in a very balanced place. Roll forward, lean forward, the hands float. 
sink down. Again, roll and sink down. Carry a ball and stretch. Let's do it the other way. Carry a ball and stretch. Now we add something to it. I mentioned before that the traditional Chinese medicine has five elements. The five elements, fire, water, earth, metal and wood, are resembling different internal organs in our body. So our kidneys is water and water likes spiraling down like the water, like the tap in your bath, bathtub and the whirlpool. So we're giving it a whirlpool of energy here. Look at my palm. The moment I pull my hand towards my body, I rotate the palm. So it brings in spiraling energy into my back kidney. Feel it. Put one hand on your kidney here. Send your other hand out. And as you pull back, feel your kidney here. Yeah? You feel it's getting hard and soft, hard and soft. So all the muscles around your kidneys are pulling blood from your heart, which uh, the beneficiary is no kidney, is your kidney. You are massaging your kidney now. Let's do the other side so there's no envy <laughs> between them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have a movement that's called the kidney song. Energy pattern, which is totally therapeutic. In order to get into it, we need to place both feet parallel sideways and the body forward, creating two circles on the water. So now, like taking this hula hoop and doubling it, now copy and paste, put one here and one there. And one is here and I'm circulating it. I'm circulating in all around it. And one is here and I'm circulating all around it. I start to create Amazing energy in my body. Two tornadoes. Two powerhouses. Hands on the water. Imagine water in your palms. And move them on the water. On one level. One level, no up and down. Who's this? Let me check. No up and down, please. Yeah. I don't want the hands to go up and down, to stay on the same level. Same level. Ooh, what a nice group. What a nice, lovely group of people. I saw some of your names. Beautiful. So one, one, two, one level. The level is just below the shoulders. Just uh, below your collarbone. Below your collarbone. Yeah. And when you go far away, you feel it in your kidney. In your kidneys, your kidneys. Let's do the other side. Two feet parallel this way and go. Raise the sky. Wide the energy down. It's a lot of energy. And now we're quieting it down. Carry a bowl of chi. And as you expand your lungs, expand this bowl. Contract your lungs, contract the bowl.
bow and arrow. Bow and arrow, then in the art of archery, cha, release the arrow and melt your body, your upper body, cha, relaxes into your qua, your energy reservoir at your hips and groin and pelvic floor. Ta, release and sigh. Sigh as you release. Inhale. Ta, the sigh has a great, great benefit to us. We spoke about it when we talked about the brain and how it affects, how Tai Chi affects your brain. So we'll mention how the sigh releases those endorphins, releases the dopamine, releases the serotonin into the body. Those neurotransmitters, they're great for us. Cha. And the fake victory after hitting the target, cha, yes, inside. My first master Harold Zvi Weisberg used to say, ask yourself after you hit the target, are you happy? You want to hear it firm inside, yes. So you hit the target, cha, yes, 100%. This fake victory, cha. Also very happy, very rewarding. Cha, that's the reward of the brain when you do Tai Chi. Cha, now we're doing Qigong, by the way. This is Bad Wan Jin, eight pieces of brocade, the bow and arrow. Cha, okay. Now we're going to do something totally different. It's uh, to help our spine separate between the vertebrae. You know, when somebody has a ruptured disc, it means one vertebra pressing on another vertebrae and the disc in the middle erupts, ruptured. We don't want that. So what are we going to do? We're going to separate, stretch, decompress. How? With this movement called looking for the moon in the sea. Ready? Sit in a nice arch. Now we are open. Tuck your tailbone in so it's comfortable. An archy bunker chair, very comfortable. And we're looking at the moon reflection at night inside the pond, when the lake or pond, and the full moon is down there in the water and we're going to pick it up and place it back in the heavens. But when we place it back in the heavens, our body's sinking down, yeah. That's the stretch. Upper body goes up, lower body goes down. Okay, let's start. Elbows in, that's the first time. Second time, we go down to the water and we create a nice love heart shape on the ground and then we push it back in the heavens. Cha! Back down, lean, gather the moon. Place it back in the heavens. Cha. Three more times. One. Two. Cha. One. Also here, when we reach out as far as possible, we're also stretching our vertebrae, we're stretching our spine away, vertebrae away from one another. Yeah. Last one. Cha. Okay, maybe we fly a little bit. We have quite a number of birds in our arsenal. One is the wild goose. Remember the wild goose? We flutter our hands. You know how to flutter your hands? Yeah, so the arms are doing a turbine circle, starting with small to bigger, to bigger gradually to a maximum range of motion. And then slowly, like onion, you peel one layer after another, coming back to little one. And when we are here is the most fun. After we do the whole round, when we do it here, we start to feel how our lower dantian becomes part of this two circles. We become part of it. The body connects. So let's start. Diagonal foot, 
start to flutter small ones the back leg uh the back leg powers you it powers the arms to rise the back foot the back leg flatter your hands flatter your hands your palms yeah like the wild geese and slowly the flutter continues same pace the palms continue the wrist continues but the arms the elbows go slower and slower and smaller slower and smaller See how your lower your pelvic floor, your lower dantian, the base of your body becomes part of these cycles. So nice. Everything is stuck in. You are connected. Let's rest the arms. Give them 30 seconds of just blood flow to your palms. Enjoy it. It's so nice. It's so pleasant. Cooling wings, it's called. Let's cool our wings. Take a deep breath in. Release slowly and start the other way, yeah? Stop the flutter. It's not just an elbow and arm. The flutter in your palms accumulate lactic acid all the way here. It's fine. It will disperse. Don't be it's a fake pain. Don't stop. And now this is the juicy part. See how your hip joints are jumping forward when the circles are jumping forward. So nice. They're connected. Your wrist and your hip joints. Look at it in the profile. And smaller, and smaller come to feet to parallel, feet parallel, and start to left and right, left and right brings us into the wave, the wave. Quiet energy, peaceful energy, tranquil energy. Oh no, not a phone call now. <laughs> tranquil, peaceful, and the phone call goes on. Ciao. But uh, went away. Did you see how beautiful? The other way, yeah? Quiet. Come to a halt.
let's carry a nice eight. Let's imagine that inside this circle, there's an eight shape. And when we're at the North Pole going south to the South Pole, we exhale. When we're at the South Pole to go to the North Pole diagonally, we inhale. Okay, let's do it. Carry the eight, pull out the lower hand and everything starts to flow effortlessly. Effortlessly because now you've been 50 minutes into the practice and all your energy channels are open and flow. And so is this eight. This eight start to take your spine, a nice spiraling pattern, spiraling up, energy pattern, spiraling down energy pattern. Okay, do the other hand. So flip, pull out, and flow diagonally, and up diagonally, and around, diagonal down, diagonal up, diagonal down, diagonal up. By the way, if you have any negative emotions left in you after this session, please, this is your chance. As you go down, sliding downhill here, down river, downstream, let go. Push it into your urine. Let go of it. Flush it down. This is the time to get rid, to detoxify, to tonify your body, to purify your chi. This movement allows us to purify our chi. We're in the chi flow zone. We can do it with a bit more vigor if you put one foot forward and now as I go up the diagonal up, the inhale, I go back. And from the North Pole down this diagonal, I step in. Remember the chop before? So now it's a chop down. Nice eight, yeah? Remember the eight. You wave an eight pattern with your sword. Exhale, inhale. Let's swap legs. Ha. Are you ready? Carry an eight, pull back, and go. On the way up, I go back. On the way down, I go forward. Again, this is my left hand, so it tells me, relax. I have a different energy than your right hand. Please let me guide you with my kind of softness, and flow, I'm not releasing any detoxification, I'm fine now, leave me alone. <laughs> Let me just have fun. Let me just enjoy. You said play Tai Chi. Let me play. Play it. So play it. Pleasurably. In my book, I repeated a lot that if you don't bring your joy and enthusiasm into the practice, you won't get any of those benefits. You must bring your joy and enthusiasm into the practice. To this practice, to yoga, to any practice that you do, to cooking. You go to meditate, bring your enthusiasm wherever you go. And then you'd see it's 10 times more successful. We're not done with the eight, although we have eight minutes left. <laughs> the time running too fast. Now the eight is lying down. So my North Pole to South Pole are here now, and yet I flow in an eight shape. The diagonal is here, but I flow with both hands. So, diagonal up, all around, diagonal this way, all around. Ooh, that is a moment of, again, meditation in motion. 
No rush, no chopping, no killing anyone, no anger, no any negativity. We're all pure now. Pure joy. Flow in an ocean of water all around you, creating eight shapes in the water. Rivers of eight inside the water, streams of eight flowing by the power of your hands, the power of your pelvis, the power of your foot that pushes the ground there, and then you sit on that leg, it's the power of that leg to push you up and around. And we can improve that movement. You know how? If we're kind to ourselves, if we're kind to ourselves, we're not just coming here or there. Look at it from the profile. If I came all the way here and there, I want to expand my horizon and go all the way behind me. Behind me this way, behind me that way. That allows my spine larger range of motion. So it's not just range of motion, the pleasure also growing because you're doing beautiful waves underwater, undercurrent waves. Go back as much as your hip joint allows you. So don't cheat, don't just go with your hand back and stay here. If your hip joints allow you to come here maximum, that's where you go. It's a way to ask our hip joints, how far can you twist me? And your spine, how far can you twist back? And it's beautiful this way. You get to know your limits. And you notice that in the beginning of the class, you had one limit. At the end of the class, we have a much further limit. And in fact, we want to connect with infinity. So talking about limits, towards the end, let's remember the infinity above, infinity below. You know, infinity above comes onto my crown, right, cuts through the center of our body, leaves our body in the perineum, penetrates earth, and goes into the abyss below. So from the abyss above to the abyss below, infinity energy, and we are centered on it. Okay, because time is running out, I'll tell you my announcements while we are centering. I want to thank again Thrive and the amazing community that uh, has been created. I want to thank each and every one of you. I want to thank Jordan, of course, what an amazing, amazing contribution to this community, the building block. I want to invite you to my YouTube channel, God Levy Golan, YouTube channel. Become a, a, a subscribe, you'll get uh, notices when I upload new exercising, it's all for free. And if you feel ready to become a Tai Chi Gong instructor to learn all these things that we did today and teach them in your community, in elderly homes, in kindergartens, in community centers, in the park. I do it in Park Ranana, Park Ayakon, and Gana Vadim in Jerusalem. If you're ready, come and do my uh, instructor course. I offer a Tai Chi Gong instructor course with a certificate of life in motion, my school based on my book. And uh, you can talk to me about it afterwards. Change hands. We finish, of course, with GLC. We know that G stands for gratitude, L for loving kindness, and C for compassion. But we dedicate a movement that has eight directions of Qi, all in one, but the movement, the Qi is not dedicated to the physical, but to the spirit, a nefesh. A nefesh connects through gratitude, a karatoda, hodaya. Be grateful. I am grateful. We are all grateful. 
Hail for loving kindness. The most heartwarming feeling that human beings can produce. Loving kindness. And compassion to all those recovering now. Corona, no corona, all the people that need our compassion, the hungry, the sick, the weak, send your compassion. Makes us human, such a human. Straight. And last one, from above, for oneness, from a complete oneness, we come to Namaste. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.